here is another liver. Please notice that it is not nodular. The uh, capsule is fairly smooth. Nevertheless, the cut surface that you see here is not really normal either. You can see irregular red streaks as though there was congested blood and you can see lighter areas as well as darker areas. This is a liver that for some reason is congested. Well, the uh, most overwhelmingly common reason why a liver would be congested is that there is heart failure and therefore the uh, portal circulation which goes from the portal areas to the central vein areas cannot drain properly and therefore it gets backed up. Now to understand a lot of the disease processes that uh, affect the liver, especially the circulatory and uh, toxic ones, if you remember that the general flow of blood is from the portal area, which is here, through the portal veins and hepatic arteries towards the central veins, which is our here, you can see that this is the first area to receive blood and this is the last area to receive blood in the lobule before it goes through the hepatic veins into the inferior vena cava to the heart. Therefore, if there is a toxic damage to the brain, the areas of toxicity would be closest to the portal areas or closest to the portal triangle. If there is an oxygen or flow deficiency to the liver, the first areas to be involved would be the central vein areas. We see here that there is necrosis and hemorrhage in the central vein area, whereas the portal and periportal areas look pretty good. So this is a flow problem. This is central passive congestion and central lobular hemorrhagic necrosis, secondary to congestive heart failure. Uh, notice also that if you look at some of these portal areas, like here, like here, like here, they still have a pretty uh, hexagonal or normal architectural type of arrangement. And also notice that there is no fibrosis between these portal areas. This is not cirrhosis. This is a liver that has been damaged by the fact that the flow has been backed up due to possibly a... Uh, right-sided uh, liver failure and therefore the central vein areas become congested and necrotic. And this is not really a uh, high power diagnosis either. However, if you could see the parts of the lobule that are closest to the uh, portal uh, triads don't look terribly bad. These look like fairly normal hepatocytes. Here's some cup for cells. Here's some hepatocytes. Here's the cords. Here's the sinuses. But as you go towards the central vein area, you lose the appreciation of viable liver cells, and all you see is a hemorrhage and necrosis. Thank you very much.